And the CS drama continues. It's a great week for news. What is up, peeps? Hope you're all doing well. Treating yourself to a nice beverage as the Astralis drama does continue. Last time we talked about this, just a couple days ago, Kadian joining the Astralis lineup. It was huge news out there, but there was also huge backlash from some fans out there because apparently Astralis didn't give bro, that is the person who Kadian has now replaced on the Astralis lineup, too many compliments or too much credit uh, on the roster departure. It was actually within 24 hours of that backlash from fans where Strauss finally gave him his flowers in an, an official departure from the roster. So people were upset that he wasn't acknowledged too much. The bigger news being Katie and joined the roster. I didn't think it was, it was too big of a deal. Now we get into the heat of the moment though in the real big drama as it's continued. HLTB and their reporters have looked into this of the move itself. Was it actually legal or was it kind of a flubbing of the rules ahead of Blast Fall Finals as they announced Katie to join the roster and apparently maybe misusing the emergency sub rule to replace bro without proper notice. And people and players, they're revolting. As according to HLTV, Strauss got Katie in for the fall final on an emergency sub, but was it against the rules? So how is Katie exactly allowed to play? We've already went through the, the roster transfer of bro being replaced by Katie, and this was within a window where it shouldn't be possible for Katie to even be at Blast Fall Finals. Apparently, shortly before Strauss unveiled Katie, Blast sent email to the teams attending the fall final, informing that, that it had approved an emergency addition to Strauss's roster due to a medical emergency emergency with one of the team's players. No further details were provided and a Strauss announcement made no mention that Bro, the player who made way for Kadian, was dealing with any sort of health issues. According to the tournament's rule books, teams can apply for an emergency replacement after the roster deadline due to issues such as illness, injury, and travel disruption. And the acceptance or rejection of an emergency replacement will be decided by Blast on a case-by-case -case basis. So people thinking, hmm, did a Strauss say that Bro had a medical condition and thus they were allowed to use an emergency sub and instead of replacing him with the coach they they actually replaced him with a player Kadian and that would be the only reason they'd be allowed to do so with such short notice for blast fall finals it got all the more complicated because bro's representation then takes to twitter and says hey by the way my player is perfectly healthy. Uh, I know I've seen things online. Uh, he's fine. He's fit to play, which then causes the question, how is a Strauss allowed to use this emergency sub rule due to a medical reason if bro is perfectly fit and healthy? Because that ne needs to be explained but it continues. As contacted by HLTV, Blast said that Astralis requested an emergency substitution and based on the info provided to them at the time, this was granted. According to the TO, the Danish team will be the lower ranking team in all of its matches because of the emergency sub, a standard procedure in such cases. When asked if Astralis had provided evidence to support their claim of a medical emergency, Blast simply said the medical substitute ruling used by Astralis here is in line with previous events. We will continue to monitor the wide rule after every event and then of course they contacted other parties uh, that being blast and apparently the substitution was in line with whatever they had in place and then a strauss not providing any documentation of what this medical emergency was from bro and all we have is a public information on bro being perfectly fit and healthy it's not a good look for a strauss it is absolutely not a good look to potentially be abusing the emergency sub rule it seems it seems pretty apparent that this rule was flubbed. That's just my opinion. We'll wait to see if more information comes out to refute that, but it's just more Astralis drama and more of the Astralis haters now rise again, and this time with validity. But it somehow got even worse as other team players and IGLs hear about this and they start to tweet, I might be unfit to attend Blast Media tomorrow. A little bit of a joke because a medical emergency, right? They don't have to uh, uh, oblige by their obligations from Blast if there's a medical emergency, right? If they're, if they're just sick and you have top players out there, Apex and Kerrigan and Twist and many others, Snappy, all saying these things and then come time for Blast Media Day and the IGLs don't show up. Actually, most of them do not show up like this is this is why Counter Strike esports is just the best. Like this is this is sports drama in the esports realm. I, I don't know about you guys. Like obviously, I don't like flubbing the rules and stuff, but this is awesome because it adds so much more commentary and storylines for the Blast Fall Final. <laughs> like I love this stuff. Although the IGLs do not love it because they have now also sent an open letter over to Blast about their um, 
their issues with a Strauss maybe bending the rules. And I think that's fair. Like these things need to be spoke about and there's no better way to speak about them uh, than by just protesting your media day. And you have all of these pictures going around of the teams of just four of them. CS is now a 4v4 sport. And I'll probably go more over that open letter tomorrow for that video, but there's just so much going on in CS right now. All in all, in case you guys need a TLDR, you have a Strauss who seemingly flubbed the emergency sub rule due to a medical condition of bro getting replaced by Kadian. Bro comes out as healthy, and then we have no documentation as to why this sub was actually allowed last second for Kadian to play for Astralis at the Blast Fall Finals. All these other teams and players are now protesting their media days as IGLs are very upset that this can't be a precedent set that so soon before a tournament, you're allowed to change out an entire player. Albeit, that should put Astralis on the back foot and not necessarily a huge advantage, but allows these weird loopholes for other teams to do similar things and tactics that don't really, that shouldn't be a thing. Uh, but what do you guys think about this? Astralis haters are up in arms again. I would say the initial stuff over the bro, flowers, and compliments was, a, was not really a necessary drama. This rule stuff is certainly a bigger part of the puzzle, and I understand why people are, are very much upset about this. What do you guys think? That is two videos in one day. That doesn't happen too often, but I love when it does. Till next time, drink up, and we'll see you back here sometime soon. Take care.